Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Stupid People in the News. What do we got today? Bank robber, two guys who park in a police chief's parking spot, the Iranian teenager who tries to look like Angelina Jolie, and a special gift from a cop who was shot. Are you ready? Stupid People in the News. Welcome, everybody. Stupid people in the news. This is Mike coming at you, bringing you all the funny things that happen in the news and make us glad that we're not these people. If you watch this, if you listen to these, that's what you're thinking. You're laughing and you're going, boy, am I glad I'm not that stupid. I'm glad that when I was young and stupid, there weren't camera phones. And look at the new background for stupid people. It's perfect. Marie made that for me. Thank you. It's absolutely awesome. I asked her for a favor because she's much more creative with this kind of thing than I am. I fully admit it. She's much more creative. And I asked her, I said, could you do that? And voila, this is what you get. It's perfect. Okay, let's start it off. Here we go. A bank robber uses his own check for the demand note when he's robbing a bank. Rasha Harris, 26, admitted committing five robberies and one aborted robbery, pleading guilty, and was sentenced last week in federal court in Norfolk, Virginia, to 15 years in prison. When robbing a bank, one's choice of stationery for the demand note is of utmost importance. Does it convey a tone of seriousness? Are they going to take me seriously? Will it retain fingerprints or other latent evidence? Wear gloves. The prudent bank robber sometimes... Don't, 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 don't rob banks. The prudent bank robber sometimes retrieves his note after passing it in the interest of discretion and eluding prosecution. Rashad Harris did, in fact, retrieve two of his demand notes during a series of holdups in the Hampton Roads area of Southeast Virginia earlier this year. As he often requested no exploding die packs be placed with his cash, the sign of an experienced stick-up man. So this guy knows what he's doing. No die packs. You know a die pack? They have them in the drawers in the, in, in the banks. So when somebody comes in and robs the bank, they put it in there. It looks just like a regular stack of money. But when they get outside the bank, there's a little radio detonator or a radio control detonator and it explodes and it blows ink all over the money and all over the person and it can't be used and they're very easily identified. So yeah, he didn't want that stuff. So he knew what he was doing. But in his holdup of Wells Fargo Bank Branch in Chesapeake, Virginia, he wrote his demand note on a blank starter check actually issued by Wells Fargo. A bank employee ran the account number through the Wells Fargo database, found the customer's name, and then looked him up on Facebook. There was Rashad Harris, the man with the gun, the note, and $2,701 of Wells Fargo's money. Harris, 26, was arrested. He admitted committing five robberies and one aborted robbery, pleaded guilty, and was sentenced last week to 15 years. And while using a blank starter check as a holdup note may be comical, it is kind of funny. Federal prosecutors would remind us that having a gun pointed at you during a robbery is not. No, it's not. The branch manager of the Wells Fargo Bank was eight months pregnant when Harris walked in the day, that day last January, which not only ruined the baby shower planned for later that day, good job, bud, but it caused her such anxiety that she took the last three off, <clears throat> caused her such anxiety that she took the last three weeks off of work prior to giving birth. Stupid. Okay, so you have to go to court for one reason or another. Traffic ticket, whatever. None of you guys do anything wrong. You park in the visitor's parking lot or in the police parking lot or better yet in the police chief's in the police chief's parking space very very stupid two men caught with heroin weed after parking in the police chief's parking spot this was up in wisconsin right outside milwaukee two men were arrested for committing a crime in the parking lot of the glendale police department to make matters worse it happened in the police chief's in the police chief's parking spot i don't know why i can't say that today why would you do that, said Mayan Montuti, who lives in Milwaukee. It's the kind of story that almost seems made up. I don't know what goes through people's heads some days. According to Glendale Police, two men pulled into the lot for a municipal court hearing on November 16th, drove beyond the do not enter signs, that wasn't a warning, do not enter, or going, and parked in the police chief's spot. Yeah, I got it out. A city worker noticed the car and the strong scent of marijuana coming from it. You're in the police parking spot. You're bound to get caught, said a witness who wishes to not be identified. Police say pot and heroin were in plain view in the center console. It didn't take long for police to take the 21-year-old and the 20-year-old into custody. It's the kind of crime that leaves you kind of doing 
one of those things. Yeah, it really does. They've been referred over to the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office. I have a feeling they're going to go to jail. Okay, so I know lots of people have seen this one on Facebook and Instagram. It, it, this one's everywhere. But that Iranian teenager who says that she's had um, uh, 50 plastic surgeries to look like Angelina Jolie and looks more like the Crypt Keeper instead. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right there. Wait a minute. No, right there. That's Angelina Jolie. Now that's the turn. That's the girl who had all the surgeries. Not a thing alike. A teenager claims she has undergone more than 50 surgeries in an attempt to look like her idol, Angelina Jolie, admitting she'll do anything to emulate the star. An Iranian woman, she's, it's gone viral. It's gone viral. Sahar Tabar claims to be one of the Tomb Raider actress's biggest fans and has said she would do anything to emulate her. The 19-year-old from Tehran underwent 50 surgeries in the space of just a few months, according to a Belgian website. Hasn't been officially confirmed, so it's possible her unique looks are the result of careful makeup or even prosthesis, prosthesis or inbreeding. It doesn't say inbreeding, but that's what I'm thinking. She also reportedly went on a diet to maintain her 40 kilogram weight. It's 80 pounds, give or take. <clears throat> She's amassed more than 308 follow, 308,000 followers on Instagram, although many have left unflattering comments on her pictures. One person simply posted zombie on a recent shot, while another said, her, doctor, make me look like an eight-month-old corpse. Doc, say no more, boom, done. Others have questioned whether it's a filter, a Halloween costume, or if the images have been photoshopped. Now, you know, I'm pretty good in Photoshop. I don't know. I don't know. And finally, a little revenge. A little revenge. This week in Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, police officer who was shot three times when he pulled over a 19-year-old man for reckless driving had a unique statement to make when his assailant was sentenced. He pulled out a bottle of KY jelly and stated, I brought a little gift for you. You will need it where you're going. Now, look, okay, it's having that kind of thing happen to you in prison. Okay, not cool. It, it, it's not cool. It's, it's just not cool. Okay. But the, <laughs> that's funny. The officer who was off duty was taking his 14 year old son to school in March of 2016 when he saw Kevin Rojas 19 driving erratically. Though he wasn't on duty, the officer tried to pull Rojas over. Rojas started shooting at the detective, who was wearing his ballistic vest right on, with police written on it. According to the AP, Rojas shots missed the officer's son, but hit the officer three times. The officer fired back at Rojas, who fled after stealing another car. Other officers pursued Rojas, who barricaded himself in a house. They shot him three times. He's now 21, was sent Wednesday to life in prison for attempting to kill the officer and his son. Yeah. You are definitely going to need the KY where you're going. <laughs> Probably a bigger tube than the cop gave you. I'm just <laughs> walking in the jail, carrying your stuff. I got my stuff. <laughs> Don't do anything to me yet. I got to loop up. I know it's wrong. It's wrong, but it's funny. Come on. It's funny. And the guy, trust me, the guy's getting what he deserves. Well, the, the life in prison. Getting butt slammed by Bubba is a completely different story, but life in prison, he definitely deserves that. If you guys like this video, thank you very much. Give it a like, get a subscribe, click that little bell icon so you know whenever I upload a new video. If you have any stupid people stories to share, let me know. Leave them in the comments down below or send me a message on Facebook. I'd be happy. I would love to read your stupid people in the news stories. Until next time, stay out of the news.